Hello grade 10s! In this video I'm going to be talking about wavelength and points in phase and out of phase for a transverse wave. If you've missed the other videos in this playlist, click the link in the description box below. In the previous video we discussed what a transverse wave is, we defined a transverse wave, and we spoke about briefly about the properties and the different aspects of a transverse wave, and we covered amplitude. So if you missed that video and you need that video, the playlist for this will be linked down in the description box. We went over amplitude, but in today's video, we're going to be going over points in phase and points out of phase and wavelength. Now wavelength, the definition for wavelength. Wavelength is the distance. So again, we are measuring distance here. So wavelength will often be given in meters or centimeters or some unit very close or similar to that. Over here you can see I've given wavelength in centimeters. So it's the distance between two successive points in phase. So to break down that definition, Successive means one after the other. And points in phase, that is a concept that I'm going to explain in more detail in a second. But the first thing that I want you to understand is that the symbol for wavelength is this funny symbol over here. Let me show you how I draw it. So you draw like a little squiggly line like that and a little um, vertical, not vertical, diagonal line like that. So I'll do it one more time. A little squiggly line. It doesn't have to be perfect and a little vertical um, or diagonal line like that. Cool. So that symbol is called lambda. I just wrote it there. I spelled it out for you. But that is the symbol for wavelength. So all that a symbol means, great tense, is that instead of writing out the word wavelength, the wavelength of a wave is equal to five centimeters. That word is very long. So instead of writing out wavelength, we can go like this. The wavelength is equal to five centimeters. That is what the symbol is, okay? Just a shortened representation of the quantity instead of having to write out the word. But the unit is centimeters or meters or micrometers or nanometers or something like that or millimeters. You get what I'm saying. Okay, so there's a big difference in physics and chemistry between symbol and unit. Okay, cool. Now, what is it? How do we measure it? How do we find it? How did I know on this diagram that the wavelength is from here to here? So, so this is a simple explanation of points in phase. A crest and a crest and say this wave continues like this and that's another crest and let's say the wave continues this way and that's another crest. All the crests are considered points in phase. They occupy the same space on a, po on a pulse or on the wave. So on the top, on the peak of the wave. So it's like the top of the mountain, it's all the same. Another example of points in phase would be the troughs. So they would all be in phase. They occupy the same point on the wave. I will dis, um, discuss points in phase in more detail now, now. But you need to know that a crest and a crest, they are in phase. And the definition of wavelength, it says the distance between two successive points in phase. So basically two points in phase, so a crest and a crest, and successive is the crests that are next to each other. So this is my one crest. This is my second crest. The distance between them so from here to here, whatever that distance is, let's pretend it's five centimeters. That is what we call the wavelength. So remember when it comes to wavelength, it's the distance. So we're going to measure in millimeters, meters, centimeters, whatever. Look at your, your um, y-axis for that. They should tell you, and your x-axis here, they say in meters. So the distance between two successive points in phase. So now that we know what successive points in phase are, I also have a more detailed video on it if you want to check out the videos in this playlist in the description. We know two points in phase, for example, could be this is a crest. I know that you can't see the full like little pulse, but this would continue like this if we had to continue it this way. So this is a crest and this is a crest. Those two crests are successive, so they come one after the other. So the distance between two successive points in phase, crests and crests are points in phase. If we join those two, the distance between this one and this one, that will give me my wavelength. So what is the distance between here? And here, look down here at your x-axis. Your x-axis is measure, measuring distance in meters. From here, it's zero meters, and we measure to the next crest, and we get two meters. So our wavelength will be equal to two meters. Or you can write out the word wavelength. Okay, let me show you how that would work if I used two different points in phase. 
let's say I used a trough and then the next trough. Those are two successive points in pairs from this trough to this trough. This trough is measuring here at one meter. Okay, this trough over here is three meters. Remember, this is measuring distance from my y axis over here. So this trough is one meter away from the y axis, and this trough is three meters away. But what is the distance between this trough and this trough? How do you get from one to three? What's the distance between those two points? Two meters. So again, if we connect two successive points in phase, so trough to trough, the distance between those two points, that's the wavelength, and it's two meters. And it'll work even if you take a random point on the wave. So if over here from crest to trough is one meter, this measurement over here would be 0 0.5 meters. That, so it goes 0, 0 0.5, 1. This over here would be 1.5. This is 2. So this pink over here would be 2.5. Do you see how I've highlighted those? Those are points in phase. If you can't see why they're in phase, you might need to watch my more detailed video where I go over a few examples of points in phase. But those are in phase. They both come directly after a crest, directly after the next crest. If I join them, that represents one wavelength. Okay, from that point in phase to that point in phase. How do you get from 0 0.5 to 2.5? What's the difference between 0 0.5 and 2.5? 2. Meters. So no matter how we calculate it, no matter which two successive points in phase we use, we get our wavelength to be two meters. In the next video, I'm going to go over this little activity over here where they ask about how many wavelengths there are between certain points. They ask for the amplitude and they ask us to find the wavelength. So this will be a practice example. I hope to see you in that video. Remember to subscribe for more physics videos and check out the playlist in the description box below for more videos on waves. Bye everyone.